Howdy folks, this is S.J. Poor here from Little Face Brewing. How are y'all doing here on this fine, fine, fine Wednesday, homebrew Wednesday evening? I'm doing pretty good. I'm sitting here, just got done uh, transferring my uh, Imperial Double IPA over to a secondary. I know that uh, uh, some folks had, you know, had said that in an earlier uh, video that I wasn't exactly sure if I wanted to dry hop it or not. I uh, had some people that said, yeah, go ahead, never can go wrong with dry hopping or whatever. I actually decided against dry hopping it. Uh, main reason was there is an, there's a lot of aromas with it as it is right now. There's six ounces of hops in that, and uh, they are coming through. So, you know, the, that aroma is there. I didn't want it to be an overwhelming. I want to have more flavor than, you know, than whatever. So, uh, we'll see. I have the recipe. If it turns out okay, then, and, and I think that the nose would be um, you know, something worth doing on the next one, I'll definitely do it on the next one or whatever. Uh, it all depends on how it turns out. I uh, just got done washing my yeast for that one. That's actually sitting in the refrigerator. Uh, calming down right now so what I wanted to do is actually do a review on B Myers and I can never remember the number this is her, her too much to do cream ale you can see that label it, it's a pretty cool label I really dig it uh, it's still a little a little foamy on the top I'm hoping I can get away with a good crack on this without making a mess we go. No mess. I'm happy about that. Let's give her a pour. There we go. Typical cream ale color. I can see that right off the bat. Uh, on the pour, uh, carbonation looks pretty good. There's not a whole lot in there. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna try and save this label to put on the fridge back here. I'm gonna hopefully get be able to get it off of the off of the bottle. It's a pretty cool label. So let's take a look at that. Nice looking color. Of course, cloudy homebrew. Uh, I can't remember the video of this one. Uh, if this was an all grain or if this was uh, an extract not really a whole lot of nose for me uh, my my nose is not good at all I can't pick very much up at all so we're going to the colors is is kind of that you know golden pale um, poured out a decent head carbonation is, is there um, could use a little bit more carbonation, but overall, I mean, it's it's holding it's, it's holding a creamy head. Uh, the head is that nice white, uh, frothy head. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm really enjoying this. This right here is an easy beer to drink. Don't know what the ABV is on it, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's probably right around five. Most cream ales are a little on the higher side, five and a half maybe, somewhere in that general area, but it's well hidden. The only reason why I can actually tell it the alcohol is because it's drying off the tongue. But other than that, it is really, really well hidden. There's a carbonation coming up from the bottle. There's a nice sweet, that corn sweetness is there. Um, I can, I detect a little bit of a hop bite to it. That's very nice. Um, wow, I did, a, I've done two cream ales so far. Both of them were always, you know, very good drinkable beers, but I'm telling you what. 
I definitely I think I like this one better than than uh, than the two that I did. Very nice beer. Very well done, B. Meyer. My hat's off to you. If I had one on, there we go, the imaginary hat. Very good beer. Well done. Uh, I like that. So, get on to some other. I had actually had a conversation with uh, uh, the, uh, Ben from uh, Hokie Homebrew, and uh, he had been asking about. Uh, some sort of homebrew club on YouTube, YouTube homebrew or whatever you want to call it. Absolutely, dude. I'm all for that. So, anybody out there that's that's interested in it as well, shoot shoot him out an email or uh, you know a, a message, leave a comment, you know whatever. You know people that he doesn't necessarily have on on his that I might have on mine or vice versa. Other people that are out there that are into it, you know, feel free. Go ahead and and. Uh, Put something out there, but I'm, I'm all for that. I think getting together and um, talking about you know home brewing and different things you can do. I mean, it's it's fantastic. I'm fortunate here where I'm where I'm located at. Our our local uh, home brew club is is incredible. Um, every we have our meetings and and every meeting there is a table full of home brews. I mean, these guys these guys are serious. There's some fantastic brewers. We've got some judges that are in our in our club, so um, it's it's we got a great club. Um, so if we can just have a portion of that on on YouTube, I think that would be a great fun. There's nothing like bouncing ideas off of each other. The night or the the, the morning afternoon or whatever that uh, fear of the victor and Jameson and myself did that brew on you did our brews together on Uvu it was great fun. We actually got to. Bounce a lot of good ideas. It's where we came up with the whole uh, homebrew experience, um, and you know, Jameson had already came out with his challenge. So, you know, there was some good stuff that came out of that. So, if you're into it, leave a comment. You know, whatever. Well, that's it for me tonight. I'm 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 done. B. Meyer, thanks again. Your cream ale is very nice beer. Very nice indeed. Where are those hops? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they're not a real high alpha. But it's nice. It's a nice touch. Outstanding beer. Take care. This is SJ Poor. Little Face Brewing. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. And brew beer. <laughs>